The city has agreed to pay millions of dollars to protesters who were aggressively boxed in by police officers during the George Floyd demonstrations back in 2020. CBS 2's Ali Bauman spoke to protesters involved in this historic lawsuit. They started hitting people with batons. They started ramming people with the bikes. They started t um, spraying tear gas. They started. There were cops on on top of cars that were punching um, demonstrators. It was terror. Samira and Amali Sierra were among the hundreds of people peacefully protesting in the Bronx on June 4th, 2020, after the murder of George Floyd. Just after the city's then 8 p.m. curfew, the Sierra sisters say NYPD officers began boxing the crowd in. They just kept uh, moving in from both ends of the street and they were crushing our bodies together. It's a tactic known as kettling. Many people were at that point you know, like pleading for their lives. Um, I can't breathe, right? Open it up. We're not fighting back. Then came the mass arrest. I was um, body slammed by about six officers. And while exercising that right to not be brutalized and killed by the police, you yourself are brutalized. Lance Clark and Joshua Moskovitz filed a class action lawsuit on the protesters' behalf. Now, almost three years later, New York City has agreed to pay more than $21,000 to each person who was there. If all the protesters participate, the city could end up paying upwards of $7 million. The lawyers say this is the largest ever settlement in a mass arrest lawsuit. And we think that reflects an acknowledgement that what happened here was a human rights violation. A spokesman for the NYPD told us much of its policies and training for policing large scale demonstrations have been re envisioned since, and the NYPD remains committed to continually improving its practices. For the Sierra sisters, it's no coincidence police used kettling in the Bronx even though most of the 2020 protests were in Manhattan. Black and brown folks, we are the Bronx. And it's very clear that um, the city of New York just wanted to silence us. Hopefully, what happened here today shows them that there are consequences and the people that live in this neighborhood deserve the same respect and treatment as people that live in other parts of New York City. If a judge approves the settlement, payments could be made as early as this year. In the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.